All right, so I just got the new 18C update. And once you get the 18C update, you can also get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if I go into my settings, all settings, here's the update that I have on the car, which is the 18C update. Once you have that update, you can then have them apply the smartphone pack, which is an additional update on top of the IPC control software. And what that gives you, let me shut my fan here, is new sets of icons where before there was only a single icon on each. You had the real racetrack racing flag here, uh, which went into your navigation. Uh, now when you hit this, it takes you to uh, search for your items directly. Um, on the phone, you just had your check your voicemail. Now you have check your voicemail, search for a contact, view your recent contacts. And in the media, you should have a button which was to uh, mute, um, which is kind of weird that there's no longer a mute button here. <laughs> I'm sure some people will be upset, maybe some people won't. Um, but now you can change your mode from here, which you can always do from your steering wheel. Um, search as well as list your stations but the thing I'm sure people you know are really interested in on this one are these two things here are Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so I have an Apple uh, phone here this is my uh, iPhone I just got um, and I will it's open so if I hit CarPlay it's telling me nothing's connected nothing's set up and even when I go into uh, settings and into connectivity you used to be able to tap on either these have been here since uh, the phase uh, 3 update when you can launch live when you plugged in your Apple phone it would give you the preference to automatically launch live or do nothing it's not giving me any of that so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm I have my a, uh, my firewire. I'm just going to plug it in. My phone is off. I'm just going to plug it into my phone right here. Phone came on. And let's see what happens in the background. Boom. All right. And my phone says CarPlay on it. Let's see what we got. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this, so bear with me as I, I learn with what you learn here. It looks like we have um, some icons on the side, time, uh, signal level, Wi-Fi strength, kind of Wi-Fi. Uh, we have this button here. I just don't know what it does yet. So let's start going through some of these. Phone. Would you like to make a call or check your voicemail? Cancel. Okay. So that's obviously Siri. Um, Here's all my recent, you know, all my stuff that I have in my uh, favorites, recent contacts, keypad, my voicemail. Um, okay, so I guess this button down here takes you back to this screen. And it looks like all these apps are apps that I have on my phone that are probably CarPlay enabled. Um, so I can just go through some of these. Phone, obviously my music. If I hit music, my music that's on my phone. Uh, Apple Maps. So we have Apple Maps. I guess I can make this point north or point which way I'm facing. So I'm facing up or north. Uh, turn on 3D. I guess I can come in here, put a destination, place I want to go. All right. Let's go back to here. Uh, my messages, I guess. Would I you like me to read your messages or compose a new one? New message. Who do you want to send it to? M my wife. What do you want to say? Thanks for letting me use your iPhone. Your message to Callie Pettini says thanks for letting me use your iPhone. Ready to send it? Send it. Okay. It's sent. So I'm using her phone to videotape this. So it just kind of 
popped up on the screen here, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, now playing. I guess this is just recently you know, my playlist and things like that. Uh, albums and different things, songs. Uh, Jaguar, let's hit that. Takes me back to Jaguar. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see if I hit this. My sources. There's Apple CarPlay, so I guess I'm taking right to Apple CarPlay that way. And this is on my phone right now. I can go back and go right to Apple CarPlay. All right. My podcasts, audiobooks, Amazon Music, App Bat. I I guess I had App Bat was something I got for free from T-Mobile. I guess it's still on here, so I guess that's car enabled. Um, Google Maps, see how that's different from Apple Maps, looks a little bit different. So same type of stuff. Uh, I can zoom in. All right, zoom out. Pretty cool. Go back. And it looks like this here is showing my favorite. So whatever I click, the last three things are showing up here. Uh, iHeartRadio, which is a list of local radio stations and stuff across the country. Pandora, I got Pandora Pro. That was a freebie T-Mobile gave all T-Mobile customers a couple weeks ago. One year free subscription to Pandora. Use it a couple times. Sirius XM, my online app. I have it in the car. I'm not sure I'd use it here. I guess I could use it here so I don't have to go into uh, my app, but it would just it would stream through my phone, so which wouldn't make would more sense, I guess, to just stream it through the car. Spotify. Um, Zoom is like a an app for conferencing, WhatsApp, and then Waze. Waze is the thing I've been kind of waiting to get in the car because, you know, people either love it or hate it. Um, it's powered by uh, Google Maps. The thing I kind of like about it is uh, it's really good at rerouting you, getting to where you're going, and telling you what, if there's a car broken down, if there's police ahead and other stuff. Uh, it looks like, there you go, hazards, police. If you see something, just give it a quick tap. If you're familiar with, with Waze, there you go. I guess a search button for Waze. Uh, so that looks really exciting right there. And takes it back. If I go back into Jaguar, let's go back into that settings to look at what it says for the Apple phone now. All settings, connectivity. Okay, default connection. So you can do none Apple CarPlay and control apps. So I guess when you plugged in your phone, you can have it to go to in control apps if you're using in control apps. Apple CarPlay or nothing. I have it set for Apple CarPlay, which I like. And then auto display. I guess it can automatically display the screen. Or I can keep that to off. So when I plug the phone in, it won't automatically bring up CarPlay. It'll keep up the normal apps. And I'll, when I click it, it'll go into CarPlay. Um, I'll probably keep it on so when I go in there it'll automatically uh, launch it. So I'll go back to home and I can go back into CarPlay. So there it is, CarPlay, um, and apparently it has the latest feature. So let's see if Siri works on the steering knob. So I'm going to just press the, the little speaker button that's on the steering wheel and see if Siri pops up. What time is it? It's 9.54 p.m. Okay. How fast is a Jaguar F-Pace SVR? I'm afraid I can't search the web while you're in the car. Well, geez, that's no fun. <laughs> well, I have to find out her limitations, what she can and can't do. Apparently... Um, maybe she's limited to messages and phone and some basic stuff. So there you go. Apple uh, CarPlay. I'll uh, do one for the Samsung as well. I have a Samsung Galaxy uh, S8 or 8S. or I don't use it that much. It's kind of like a backup phone. So I'll plug that in and see if I get any different things and post up a video on that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them. Give me comments. And I'll be uh, happy to go over anything you need. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon.